Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I am going to explain you something about increment operator and assignment operator. So let's get started. First of all, I will explain you how assignment operation works. So let's take an example. I will declare an integer x is equal to 25 and I am going to print it. Very simple stuff. Thanks. Okay. Now, for example, I want to add to uh, this value, add some more mu value to this value. I have shown you that you can do it like this x is equal to x plus 5, for example. And what it will do is it will take the value of x and add 5 to it and place it into x once again right so let's build it and run it and it will show us 30 but the more efficient way to do this is because you are using x two times you can just reduce this by writing it something like this okay so x plus is equal to 5 it will just serve the same purpose as before it will add 5 to our variable which is x and then save it into the same variable. Once again I will run the program and answer is same and you can do this assignment operation with multiplication, subtraction, division or you can take a modulus. So I will show you one by one. First of all minus. So what it will do is it will take x and subtract 5 from it and will show the result will save the result in this x and will show the result here right so run the program and it shows 20 same is with product or multiplication you just give asterisk it will multiply apply 25 by 5 just run the program and you see 125 and you can do it with the division also but Remember, it doesn't show the remainder, only the multiplication value or multiple value, right? So, in this case, it will show 5 because we don't have any remainder. But if you divide 25 by 4, it will still, let's see what it gives us, 6. And it doesn't show us the remainder. In order to show the remainder, you need to give this module sign and then it will just show you the remainder which is 1 right so it shows the remainder 1 now this is about assignment operation now I have also told you about increment operation in the for loop tutorial so for example you want to increment 1 or add 1 to the variable x then you can do it like this x plus plus and what it will do, it will add 1 to our variable x and print it here, right? Now, let me show you a phenomena of, or how you can use this in two different ways. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to copy this and paste it here once again. And what I'm going to do is, I will increment x by 1 here just delete this and then I will show the value of x right and both I'm printing let's see what happens and you see what's happening here is it's even though we are increasing the value of x by 1 but it's showing 25 first and then 26 so this phenomena is uh, happening because we are adding this plus plus after our x okay so what will happen is it will your c++ code will print the value of x first and then add 1 to it and then when you print x to the second time it will show the addi addition value so 26 it will show here but for example you want to add 
one or uh, add this one before showing the value what, what you need to do is you just need to add this plus plus before this x now it will what it will do is it will add one to x first and then print this value and this will be the same so let's see what happens now just close our program and build it run it and you can see now this is 26 26 so it takes the value of x increment it and then prints it so this is the difference between this prefix of plus plus and trailing plus plus right so just remember if you want to increment the value first add these plus plus in the front and if you want to increment the value after showing uh, the value then you just add it after plus plus same rule will be true for minus so when you do this x x, my x minus minus here and when you run the program it will still show you the value 25 because the subtraction is not happened here but it it's happened after the execution of this so in the next line then you can see 24 in the next line and when you add this minus minus in front then your value is subtracted first so one is subtracted from the x and then it prints 24 and then 24 so this is all about all the basics about assignment operator and increment operator I hope you understood the concept. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.